country is about lying, cheating, and stealing, and breaking treaties. And uh, if you don't do what we say, then we crush you with our iron hammer. Everybody heard of the great Roman Empire, right? The Roman Empire that ruled the world for 400 years. The mighty Roman Empire, the mighty Roman legions out of Rome, the Caesars. Everybody remembers that, right? That's read a history book? Well, we are the Roman Empire, folks. The United States is the revived Roman Empire. We are the muscle behind Rome, the Jesuits, the Vatican, the United States military. We have over 800 bases worldwide, folks. We have military bases in almost every country of the world. We have a $750 billion defense budget just to keep our military going a year. We are the Roman Empire, revived Roman Empire that the Bible talks about in the end days. Shalom, Kohalimla, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Rakakadash. All praises be to the Most High, Yahweh, in the name of His Son and our Lord and Savior, Yahushai. Much respect and honor to the brothers that are doing the work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and freedom to do so, and pushing this gospel throughout the four corners of the earth. Salutations to the hopeful elect that are scattered abroad, and double honors and respect to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Coming back at you with another lesson entitled, and your mother that bear you shall be confounded. We're going to go into it. That man of sin is being made bare. He's being exposed. And the mother that bear America is sore confounded. Let's go into that scripture, by the way. Let's go to Jeremiah 50, verse 12. But before we do that, let's go here first. So, who is the mother? Where was America birthed out of? Or where did she come from? Let's go into the creation of the European economic community. The beast. So that beast is the European economic community which is Rome reincarnated the European economic community or the European Union in today's terms and NATO and America is a part of NATO the great whore that rideth upon that beast it says the creation of the European economic community on March on March 25th 1957 the six ECSC members signed the two treaties of Rome the what the two treaties of Rome so we're seeing a reincarnation of the Roman Empire this is the mother. The creation of the European, <coughs> excuse me, the creation of the European Economic Community on March 25th, 1957, the six ECSC members signed the two treaties of Rome that established the European Atomic Energy Community which was designed to facilitate cooperation in atomic energy development research and utilization in the European Economic Community, or EEC. The EEC created a common market that featured the elimination of most barriers to the movement of goods, services, capital, labor, the prohibition of most public policies or private agreements that inhibit market competition 
a common agricultural policy or CAT and common external trade policy. So this is the Roman Empire reincarnated. So right now, Germany is in bed with Russia and is getting economic deals through the Nordstrom pipeline. The Great Britain or the British have exited the European Union under its Brexit program. So these allies of America are engaging in business relationships with Russia, the mother bear. But most importantly, Rome has been reincarnated. The European Union and NATO and America is riding that great beast. Let's go, let's go from there. And we're going to start at the top. Talking about reincarnation. Everything is reincarnated. Let's go to Revelations 13, verse 11. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth. And he had two horns like a lamb. And he spake as a dragon. So they are speaking draconian law through its policies and regulations through its ordinances. So we're talking about draconian or harsh laws being established. So it's speaking like a dragon. Why is this another beast? Because this is the rebirth of ancient Rome. Let's read it again. Revelations 13, verse 11. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. So they come off as being peaceful, like a lamb, and they use a split or two-party system, democratic and Republican. And we know it in the ancient Roman system, they had a two-party system of the plebeians and patricians. So this is a regenerated empire under America, the European Union, and NATO. So they come off as being soft-spoken. As a matter of fact, Winston Churchill made a comment Speak softly, but carry a big stick. So that big stick is its great iron teeth or its military. Revelations 13, verse 12. And he exerciseth all the power of the first beast before him and causeth the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed. So we know that the Roman Empire started to fall around 90 AD. And the Israelites would rule between 300 and begin to fall during the 1300s and would ultimately fall around 1453, which ushered in the Renaissance period. So the Roman Empire fell. The first beast. Let's read that again. Revelations 13, verse 12. And he exerciseth all the power of the first beast before him and causeth the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed. So we're seeing a revised Roman Empire that re-emerged during the Renaissance period. And the Renaissance would begin to come in as early as the 1350s and they would solidify that transition 
around 1452-1453. That's when Christopher Columbus would get his charter to go out and make sail towards the New World. But he did not discover America. That is a myth, a made-up farce. Revelations 13, verse 13. And he doeth great wonders, so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. So this beast has great firepower, particularly its air power. And it also has great naval power. And it's using its military, America, being that right arm of this great beast. And it has a tail of other nations following it with the European Union and NATO at the head. So they have great firepower. And they would also use that firepower on Tokyo, Hiroshima, Nagasaki, Japan. But those are just a few locations where they would use this great firepower. Who else had this great firepower? The first beast, ancient Rome, or the mother of the European Union, NATO, and America. Let's read that again. Revelations 13, verse 13. And he doeth great wonders, so that he make a fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. We use this term today, great air power or fire power. Revelations 13, verse 14. And deceive of them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live. So the European Union, NATO, and America, they created, <clears throat> excuse me, they created the same economic and political model as ancient Rome. It's two-party system. It's election process where they would elect new leaders or presidents. So they are modeled after the ancient economic and political system of the first beast under Rome. Having a senate, the ancient Roman Empire had a senate. So they're using the same program the same playbook, so to speak. So that is the image of the beast, a military, economic, and political, religious system. Revelations 13, verse 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. So if you don't conform or bow down to the system, you're going to be put to death. So this is draconian law. And that draconian law stems back from Draco, from Athens, ancient Greece, who would put you to death if you did not adhere to his mandates or policies. So we're talking about harsh laws and policies. Let's go down to verse. So this beast speaks through its policies and decrees, laws. Revelations 13, verse 16. And he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, 
free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. So this is the MOTB, an electronic leash. Once again, it's tied back to draconian law. So this is the revised Roman Empire. Let's go here. Proverbs 29, verse 15. The rod and reproof give wisdom, but a child left to himself bringeth his mother to shame. So who is that child left to himself? Esau, Edom, particularly America. So it is a part of that revised Roman Empire that's being ruled over by the children of Edom, Esau. Let's read that again. Proverbs 29, verse 15. The rod and reproof give wisdom, but a child left to himself bringeth his mother to shame. Let's get a little more on this child left to himself. It's talking about the king of Babylon, Esau, Edom. Ecclesiastes 7, verse 16. A moment. No, that's not where I want to go. Ecclesiastes 7. Nope. 10. Excuse me. Ecclesiastes 10, verse 16. Woe to thee, O land, when thy king is a child, and thy princess eat in the morning. So Esau is a spoiled brat a child or being led by children, the Edomites and wicked Eves. Isaiah 3, verse 12. Let's prove that. As for my people, children are their oppressors and women rule over them. O my people, they which lead thee cause thee to error and destroy the way of thy paths. We're being led by Esau, a overgrown child, or spoiled brat, the king of Babylon. Proverbs 29, verse 15. Thy rod and reproof give wisdom, but a child left to himself bringeth his mother to shame. So who's being brought to shame? The European Union, the EU and NATO, Rome, reborn. And that child is Esau, left to itself, America. Jeremiah 50, verse 12. Your mother shall be confounded, she that bear you, shall be ashamed. Behold, the hindermost of the nations shall be a wilderness, a dry land, and a desert. Who is the hindermost of the nations? That's left to itself. That's being ruled over by a child, the king of Babylon. America. It's going to be a desolate wilderness a desert dry land and the European Union and NATO are beginning to turn against her. Rome that birthed her. Let's read this again. Jeremiah 50 verse 12. Your mother shall be sore confounded. She that bear you shall be ashamed. Behold, the hindermost of the nations shall be a wilderness, a dry land, and a desert. Let's look at that word, confounded. 
So this is the European Union and NATO. That's confounded. Of course, I closed out of it by accident. Confounded. Confounded. See? Used for emphasis, especially to express anger or annoyance. See? So this is talking about the European Union and NATO. Britain, Germany. Matter of fact, Turkey has joined NATO. They're not a part of the original European economic community nations, but they have joined NATO. So they're in bed with the Russians and are benefiting off of the new economic deals, particularly the Nordstrom pipeline. But this prophecy primarily is focusing on the European Union nations and NATO, the beast. So confounded, used for emphasis, especially to express anger or annoyance. Germany is annoyed with America. Spain, France, Great Britain, and the new NATO member, Turkey. Let's go back to that scripture. The Bible is the most amazing book on planet Earth. Jeremiah 50, verse 12. Your mother shall be sore, confounded. She that bear you shall be ashamed. Behold, the hindermost of the nations shall be a wilderness, a dry land, and a desert. So America is going to be a desolate wasteland. Let's go into that mother. European Union and NATO. But America came through the birth canal of Great Britain when it would gain its independence through the war or the revolutionary war with Great Britain. So America would come through that birth canal of Great Britain. Great Britain came out of ancient Rome. Let's go to Revelation 17, verse 7. And the angel said unto me, Wherefore didst thou marvel? I will tell thee the mystery of the woman and of the beast that carrieth her, which had the seven heads and ten horns. So the European Union is the beast. NATO represent the ten horns that came out of, out of the European economic community. We read that already. We won't go back to it. Let's read it again. Revelation 17, verse 17. And the angel said unto me, Wherefore didst thou marvel? I will tell thee the mystery of the woman and of the beast that carrieth her, which had the seven heads and ten horns. Verse 8. The beast that thou sawest was and is not and shall ascend out of the bottomless pit and go into perdition and they that dwell on the earth shall wonder whose names were not written in the book of life from the foundation of the world when they behold the beast that was and is not and yet is. So the bottomless pit is Europe. They have to import most of their natural resources. And this is why they had to colonize the world and venture out to go in and try to steal other nations' natural resources. Gold, oil, coal, petroleum, natural gas, silver, iron. So Europe is the bottomless pit. Revelation 17 why is it the beast that was and is not and yet is? That's because everything is regenerated or reincarnated. 
the spirits come back like these empires. Let's keep going. Revelation 17, verse 9. And here is the mind which have wisdom. The seven heads are seven mountains on which the woman sitteth. So ancient Rome is comprised of seven kingdoms. Greece, Germania Minor, Germania Major, France, and Spain. Ancient Spain was called Hispania or Hispanica. And France was called Gaul in the ancient world. So Rome, it sits on seven mountains, which are governments. Let's read this again. Revelation 17, verse 9. And here is the mind which have wisdom. The seven heads are seven mountains on which the woman sitteth. So those are seven kingdoms or governments which the woman sitteth. So America is sitting on the European Union and NATO. So we're going to break that down in the next scripture on the revised Roman Empire. Revelation 17, verse 10. And there are seven kings. Five are fallen and one is, and the other is not yet come. And when he cometh, he must continue a short space. So once again, we're talking about Rome. Rome, under the ancient system, had seven kingdoms. Greece, Germania Minor, Germania Major, Gaul, which is France, and Hispania, which is Spain. And one is Rome, and the other is not yet come, and when he cometh, he must continue a short space. That is Great Britain, or the British Empire, which America would come through that birth canal when it would gain its independence during the Revolutionary War in July of 1776. Revelation 17, verse 11, And the beast that was and is not, even he is the eighth and is of the seven, and goeth into perdition. So this is America. It's birthed out of Rome. That's where it's birthed out of. So it is of the seven. So it was carried by the beast, ancient Rome. Let's go back up to verse 7. Revelation 17, verse 7. And the angel said unto me, Wherefore didst thou marvel? I will tell thee the mystery of the woman and of the beast that carrieth her, which had the seven heads and ten horns. So America is riding upon that beast, and it would come out of that beast. So it's of the seven. Let's go back to that. Revelation 17, verse 11. And the beast that was and is not, even he is the eighth and is of the seven and goeth into perdition. So this America, the eighth, is going to be destroyed that perdition that came out of Rome. So it is a part of that revised Roman Empire. So her mother, Rome, in its modern sense of the word, European Union and NATO, are sore confounded of her. Let's go back to that. Confounded. They are what? Angry and annoyed with America. Go back to Jeremiah 50, verse 12. 
Jeremiah 50, verse 12. Your mother shall be sore confounded. She that bear you shall be ashamed. Behold, the hindermost of the nations shall be a wilderness, a dry land, and a desert. So the European Union and NATO is annoyed with America. That's that sore confounded. So let's read about it in Revelations. So America is going to be a wilderness. When you read Jeremiah 50 verse 12, a dry land and a desert. Let's read why. Let's go back to Revelation 17. Revelation 17 verse 15. And he saith unto me, the waters which thou sawest where the whore sitteth are peoples and multitudes and nations and tongues. So like this man said in the video, America has over 800 military bases with a military defense spending of over $750 billion per year. It is a melting pot of different cultures, religions, languages, and ethnicities. Let's go to verse 16. And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, thee shall hate the whore, and shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh, and burn her with fire. So that's why when you read Jeremiah 50, let's read it again. So that's the mother that's going to burn her with fire. The European Union and NATO which includes the ten horns. Jeremiah 50, verse 12. Your mother shall be sore confounded, and she that bear you shall be ashamed. Behold, the hindermost of the nations shall be a wilderness. America is the hindermost of the nations born out of Rome, European Union, and NATO. So they're going to burn her with fire. Revelation 17, verse 16. And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, thee shall hate the whore, and shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. So she's going to become a desolate wilderness, consumed with fire. Revelation 17, verse 17. For God hath put in their hearts to fulfill his will and to agree and give their kingdom unto the beast unto the words of the most high shall be fulfilled and the woman which thou sawest is that great city which reigneth over the kings of the earth so that is the daughter of babylon that reigned over the kings of the earth birthed out of rome so she's reigning over the kings of the earth. The right arm military of this great beast. So hopefully I didn't jump all over the place too much. Let's let the video play out, then we'll close out. And uh, if you don't do what we say, then we crush you with our iron hammer. Everybody heard of the great Roman Empire, right? The Roman Empire that ruled the world for 400 years. The mighty Roman Empire, the mighty Roman legions out of Rome, the Caesars. Everybody remembers that, right? That's read a history book. Well, we are the Roman Empire, folks. The United States is the revived Roman Empire. We are the muscle behind Rome, the Jesuits, the Vatican, the United States military. We have over 800 bases worldwide, folks. We have military bases in almost every country of the world. We have a $750 billion defense budget just to keep our military going a year. We are the Roman Empire. Revived Roman Empire that the Bible talks about in the end days. What they'll never tell you is that the Israelites ruled Europe for about a thousand years that they called the Dark Ages. Matter of fact, that Britain which was called 
Britannia in the ancient world is Baraafyaf. Baraafyaf or men of the covenant. Men of the covenant, the Israelites, the sons of Jacob. So yes, they are the revised Roman Empire. America that's riding upon that great beast, the European Union, and the tin horn sticking out of it, NATO. That reigneth over the kings of the earth. Hopefully this lesson has been edifying. All praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. I'm Shemur Kakadash. See you on the next lesson, Lord willing. Kwame Yashrallah. And Abad Babao. Shalom.